Welcome back. Taylor Swift is in, but we had a few picks come in while we were away. With the 17th pick, the Patriots took Christian Gonzalez, a uh, cornerback uh, from Oregon. I think they needed that. That was a good pick. And they needed a good cornerback. Because the one they, their cornerback from last year struggled, but he had a pretty good season, though. He had a few uh, good moments here and there. And the Lions, they took Jack Campbell, linebacker, Iowa, and they need a good linebacker. And I think it's going to be a great addition to the Lions. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers took uh, Kalia Kansi with the pick number 19. Defensive tackle Pittsburgh, and he's going to be a great addition to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But Tom Brady is retired, as you know, and he will not be back with the Bucs this year. And so they probably will not be the team that they once were. But Baker Mayfield is now with the Bucs, so they very well could be. You never know. And we're about to find out who the uh, Seattle Seahawks have taken with the 20th pick. Someone's going after the mic, I think, right now. Um. Okay. Someone's coming up to the podium right now. And that first one, the uh, yeah, so Devin Witherspoon from quarterback from Illinois. We'll see if they take with this one right now. And the Jet, and another buck. I, the Seattle Sox are taking Jackson Smith, Najiba, wide receiver, Ohio State. He's the first wide receiver to go off the board. And another, I think the uh, yeah, ninety-five tackles over sixteen hundred yards this uh, past season. Yeah, and and he is, and uh, he really can put up some big numbers for you. And he is, because we've had one. Uh, And he's the third Buckeye to come off the board. <clears throat> they needed a wide receiver. This is a good thing. That was a good move, I think, for Seahawks. And, and yeah, he will work the field. He will dominate this game. I can tell you right now, he's a very dominant player. When it goes, he was right down with Ohio State. He's going to be down with it in the NFL. And right now, the LA Chargers are on the clock, and they they had a pretty decent season. They did struggle though, but um, I think they're going to take either wide receiver, uh, uh, edge rusher, or defensive tackle. We'll see. Um, hey. Jackson, Jackson Smith, Nochiba is a great addition for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, another Buckeye off the board. And the fans in Seattle at, the, at their draft watch party are ecstatic right now. And uh, you know, he's going to put up some big numbers. 
And I say, look out there. They got to be ready to play this season. And uh, they could very well draft a quarterback. You never know. Uh, yeah, three picks in 2022, and they had their first. And this year, they got one in the fifth round in 2023, and won the. And they, it was the, it's the 20th pick that they just did now. They had two of their picks already. Now, right now, interviewing Jackson Smith and Najiba. And the diva says it's awesome that he's going there to uh, Seattle. So, and I guess he's first there, so he's glad to get back home to Seattle. So, this is really one of those uh, drafts where uh, the Seahawks picked themselves a very good uh, wide right receiver. <laughs> For the team, for their team. So, uh, the Chargers pick is in. We'll wait for that to come out. It'll be in just a few moments. And last year, 2022, Garrett Wilson was taken, so it's Chris Alice, Jameson Williams. Now, this year, Smith was taken by the Seahawks. And uh, yeah, so Troy Young went number one to Alabama to the Panthers, and it was CJ Stroud going in number two quarterback out of Ohio State. And with the Colts, it was Anthony Richardson, quarterback out of uh, Florida. So, we've had some great draft moments tonight. In this draft, and I think there's more to come between tonight, tomorrow, and on Saturday. Uh, and we're still waiting to hear on quarterback what Levi's what his future will be. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, Mark Jackson uh, re-signed with the Baltimore Ravens today. Five-year contract, $260 million. And that does not surprise me because I think Baltimore needed to do that. He wanted to... He, even though he wanted out of Baltimore, it was good that he stayed with Baltimore and signed uh, the $260 million contract. We're about to find out who the Chargers picked right now. Yeah. So Chargers select my first pick, Quentin Johnson. Quentin Johnson, uh, wide receiver, TCU he is out of. He put up a lot of big numbers with uh, TCU last year. And uh, and uh, he really can score on the touchdowns, really get the tackles for you. He can find a big window and get through you when you least expect it. And and you never know what he's going to do. He can really back up the receptions and the tackles, too. So he can really uh, be an impactable player with this Chargers team. So, uh, and 
When he gets the football, look out. He'll run. He is unstoppable when he gets the football. And he, he can he, he can score and not be caught. And so he's going to be a great addition to the Los Angeles Chargers. The uh, Ravens are now on the clock. And they do need, they also need a few pieces of the puzzle. So, yeah. They had a pretty good season. They won the playoffs, but they were out the, uh, I think, second round. And now, with now, Lamar Jackson's under contract with the Ravens. I'm going to come off with the draft and they'll pick when they come back. Hey guys, random question. Is it bad? But uh, we've had uh, three Ohio State Buckeyes go off the board in this draft, and it does not surprise me. So uh, we've got the Ravens coming up, and I'm going to. And I'm going to upload this video to end this segment. And I will come back uh, when the draft comes back on the air. So, uh, so stay with us. To stay, stick around. There's a lot more to come. We'll be back.